Hey everyone! Another episode of The Penguin has been released, and with that, we have a lot of details to discuss. There were many Easter eggs related to Batman comics and even to The Godfather. Join me here in the video so you don't miss any details. Welcome to Comic Chronicles. The quality of the episodes of The Penguin keeps rising, bringing a lot of mafia intrigues and impossible situations to escape from. The series grips you to the point where you watch the episodes and time flies because they're so good. We're going to analyze the small details present in episode 2, so don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. This is the best place for you if you're a fan of comics, series, movies, and animations of our beloved heroes. I'm counting on you. Thank you very much, and let's get into the video. Sophia works to ensure her family maintains strength in the world of organized crime, while Oz manipulates the Falcone and Moroni to his advantage, creating a war between these families. In the first episode, we were introduced to Oz and all the character arcs present in his story, showcasing their worlds, the problems they face, Oz's connection to these characters, and the initial push of this plot. The second episode focuses on showing Oz as an infiltrator in the Falcone and Moroni families, dealing with problems that put his life at risk several times, while showcasing that he is capable of achieving what he aims for, he does what it takes to get closer to taking control of the crime world. This episode is full of details and Easter eggs. Right at the beginning, we see Sofia Falcone locked up in Arkham Asylum being visited by her brother Alberto, while the other patients sing a mocking song, calling her Hangman, which is an Easter egg to the comic Dark Victory, where Sofia used this name to commit her crimes as a serial killer. This is the moment where we delve deeper into Sofia Falcone's character, exploring her fears, pains, psychological issues, and memories of her time in Arkham Asylum. Consequently, Sofia consults a psychiatrist, leaving Batman fans anticipating a known character from Batman's rogue gallery, like Hugo Strange or even Scarecrow, but the series chose to create an original character, Julian Rush. This scene of Sophia in Arkham Asylum was very well directed, being one of the best scenes of the episode. Another detail to highlight involving Sophia is the fact that she is underestimated by her family, creating a connection between her and Oz, as Oz is also looked down upon by both the Falcone and Moroni, even though he is an infiltrator in both families. Here, we already have a hint that the series may end with a final showdown between Oz and Sophia to see who will command the organized crime in Gotham. In Blackgate Prison, Sal Moroni has discovered Penguin's entire plan and wants to turn him over to the Falcons, but Oz once again uses his charm to manipulate Moroni and make him accept his plan involving the Gata drug shipment. With this, we see Penguin shine in the series once again. In The Batman, Oz already had a good highlight, but it was a brief appearance, we hadn't yet seen how he managed to get out of various situations and gradually earn his place, and now we are seeing that. The series creates countless impossible situations for him to escape, yet he manages to get what he wants, using his charm as a weapon. Now, moving to the Falcone family, Carmine's brother, Luca, is in charge of the family, and this character also appears in the comics. In the new 52, he loses his life to the Red Hood Gang. In another moment of the episode, Penguin shows that he knows how to improvise not just with his charm but also in action. In the scene where the drug shipment occurs, a small hiccup arises when Johnny Vitti suddenly appears, ordering Penguin to go to the truck with the drugs, going against the agreement Penguin had made with the Moroni. Still, Penguin manages to improvise so that he doesn't lose his life and the plan continues as intended. It was an amazing scene. Another character who is also gradually gaining prominence in the series is Victor Aguilar. In the scene where Penguin takes him to his apartment and calls some women, we see that he is hiding secrets. He stutters when talking about where he lives, but when discussing Penguin, he has no issues and even shows admiration for Oz. Here we also have another easter egg from the comics, as a woman says that the place Victor claims to be his neighborhood is now a no man's island, which is the title of a classic mega saga of Batman in the comics. One thing also shown in this episode that made me even more curious to see more about is Sophia's past in Arkham Asylum. Whenever something about Arkham appears, we see that it was a very heavy experience for Sophia, as she keeps hurting herself and having traumas from what happened, it is very likely that this developed triggers in her mind. The moment we see her sleeping in her closet could mean she fears some betrayal will happen within her family because of the situation, or it could even be a trauma from being in Arkham. Another character that also has interesting scenes is Penguin's mother. Oz does what he does for her, and this is shown in the episode. She encourages her son to resolve everything soon, 
and this relationship between Oz and his mother raises the question of what he will do when he loses her, as she is the only person that gives him a sense of security, Oz has no defenses against his mother. Moving to the scene of Alberto's funeral, we can see two interesting things happening. The first is how it's shown that Riddler has become a symbol of rebellion in Gotham City. Some people use Riddler as a symbol of protest against the Falcons, even calling them fascists. The second is that it's revealed that the photos Penguin keeps of Johnny Vitti are of him with Luca's wife. Penguin tries to hand over the envelope with the photos to Luca but doesn't succeed. Penguin notices Sophia alone at the wake and tries to approach her to gain her trust. Oz tells a touching story about his mother but is soon interrupted by Sophia's henchman, who says something has happened that warrants her attention, and at the same time, Oz receives a message from the Moroni. We soon see the episode approach its climax, as at the Falcon Mansion, the detective Sophia hired to find out the traitor within the family brings in one of the Moroni who survived the attack during the drug shipment. He knows who is infiltrated, and this ends up being the reason why she doesn't tell anyone about it, especially as at that moment, a ceremony is happening in the mansion after Alberto Falcone's funeral. She orders them to lock up this attack survivor in the mansion's basement. Meanwhile, the Moroni know that one of their own was captured by the Falcones, and losing patience, they summon us to confront him and decide to take his life after Penguin reveals that it was all Sophia Falcone's doing. However, Oz shows them the photos of Johnny Vitti, which becomes a reason to spare his life. After that, Oz needs to save the Moroni member, and his plan is to frame Johnny Vitti by placing Alberto's jewels in Johnny's car. He leaves this mission to Vic while Oz goes to talk to the kidnapped guy, where we see Oz's brilliance. He tells Johnny that there's a kidnapped guy in the mansion while Alberto's funeral is going on and how absurd that is. With this, Johnny goes to confront Luca, opening space for Oz to reach the prisoner. Oz says he will help him if he says that Johnny Vitti is the traitor of the family, but the plan ends up failing because Vic failed to plant the jewels in Vitti's car, resulting in Penguin having to take the life of the Moroni man. But Penguin's brilliance was yet to come, as when everyone involved in the drug shipment was summoned for searches, Penguin still had the knife. He starts a fake fight with Vitti and plants the knife in Sophia's henchman's pocket, and here we truly see Oz's genius, as it definitely wouldn't be convincing if Oz just put the knife in Vitti's pocket. As a result, Luca takes the life of Sophia's henchman. Penguin breathes a sigh of relief for having escaped yet another tight spot, and after this, Sophia confronts her uncle, but she doesn't intimidate him, and he tells her to travel to Italy. In this moment, there's an Easter egg for the film The Godfather. Meanwhile, Oz is tasked with disposing of the bodies, and there he takes the opportunity to give Vic a hard time since he failed in his mission. Despite the failure, Oz gives the young man one last chance, and soon he is summoned by Sophia. At this moment, it seems very likely that Oz will take Vic's life at some point in the series because the fact that Vic says he also started as Carmine's driver shows he knows he can't afford to slack off with Vic, as Oz himself tried to take Carmine's life, and that likely would happen to him. Seeing no alternatives and being unable to trust anyone, as even his ally was a traitor, Sophia decides to call us in to work together, thus ending the episode. This episode was amazing. The performances were incredible, and the dialogues were very well written. The only downside, in my opinion, is that the drug shipment results in a massive shootout in Gotham, and Batman doesn't even show up to investigate, that really makes no sense. To learn more about Penguin and the entire mythology of Batman in the comics, Use our affiliate links to purchase Batman comics, DC, Marvel, or even any kind of purchase. This way, you support our work without paying anything extra for it. Thank you very much for all the support you give us. But now I want to know your opinion. Are you enjoying The Penguin? What's your theory for the series? Write in the comments, give a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and activate the notifications so you don't miss any updates involving Batman and DC. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.